Welcome to the NCO Journal, the official magazine of non-commissioned officer professional development. I'm your host, Dr. Sergeant Timothy Hughes. Now let's get down to Sergeant's business. Hold it! The path to promotion for NCOs is getting a facelift as the Army gets ready to roll out the Select, Train, Educate, and Promote program, better known as STEP. You know, I really wish I was blessed with the gift to come up with those Army acronyms. Note to self, send a request to the big Army for a new basic acronym development specialist, MOS. Anyway, the STEP program will introduce new training for the NCO Corps, which NCOs would need to complete in order to get promoted. The new Master Leaders course for Sergeant First Class offered at the U.S. Army Sergeant Majors Academy, for example, will eventually be a requirement for promotion to, to Master Sergeant. In short, you have to complete your SSDs, the NCO Professional Development Schools, or you can kiss that promotion goodbye. One surefire way to get promoted is to set yourself apart from your peers by going to competitions and winning, which leads us to our next story. Last month, the Army recognized the drill sergeants and advanced individual training platoon sergeants of the year. After surviving a formal ward, inclement weather, hands-on evaluations, and a 12-mile ruck march over four days, Staff Sergeant Jake Gormillov was selected as a drill sergeant of the year. Staff Sergeant Mark Mercer was awarded the title Army Reserve Drill Sergeant of the Year. And Sergeant First Class Samuel Enriquez was named the Advanced Individual Training Platoon Sergeant of the Year. The three victors will spend the next year working at the strategic level at the U.S. Army Center for Initial Military Training with the Training and Doctorate Command at Fort Useless, Virginia. And to you, we salute and say congratulations. Now, let's talk about NCO history. During the Civil War, there were nearly 10,000 soldiers under the age of 18. On the afternoon of September 20th, 1863, a Confederate colonel on horseback crossed paths with a 12-year-old boy in a Union uniform. That boy, John Clem, was ordered by the colonel to drop his gun. In response, he quickly shot the colonel off his horse with a sawed-off rifle he carried before he sprinted back to the safety of Union lines. That act was one amongst many of Clem's impressive feats, which resulted in his promotion to the rank of sergeant, making the 12-year-old soldier the youngest NCO to serve in the U.S. Army. That's it for our show. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time right here at the NCO Journal. What are some of the leadership challenges you face as an NCO? Please share them with us and our audience and let's discuss approaches and solutions. If you have stories or story ideas that are relevant to the professional development of non-commissioned officers, click on the link below.